happened. This man, Joseph, who thought this woman had betrayed him, he still loved her. He still was concerned about her. He still loved this woman, Mary. And so he sang to, us, to himself, I can't marry her, but I don't want to do her any harm. I don't want to see her crushed and beaten with stones and stoned to death. I still love this woman. I don't worry about my own honor. I don't care what other people might whisper in my ear, but because I love this woman, I'm willing to do whatever I can do to make sure she's not hurt by this thing. I want to tell you that that is real love. When you have been betrayed by people that you have been concerned about, when you have been stabbed in the back by somebody you thought loved you, when you sit there and you take the hurt and you take the pain, but your concern is about them and not yourself. There he is, contemplating, thinking about, what can I do? There's a woman who's done me wrong. And then God shows up. Hallelujah, God sends an angel or a messenger to him in a dream and says, Joseph, how do you fear not? Don't you, don't you be afraid anymore. Thank you, God. Don't you know that sounds just like Jesus? God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Don't you know when you've got fears in your life, when you've got confusion in your life, if you just trust God, God will show up even in the midnight hour, even in the moment that you think it's darkness and you don't think you can lose. Hallelujah, my lose your mind. Hallelujah, that's when God can show up and start ministering to you. If you just trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. If you just acknowledge God in all your ways. See, sometimes in that midnight hour, hallelujah, when you've got hurts going on in your life, whether it's somebody else who's hurt you, maybe it's not somebody who's hurt you, but somebody you love that's hurting. And it's making 